Hi guys, Terry here from For The Love Of Fitness. Now last month, I made a video about what I'd learned on my calisthenic journey so far. So this video is about more I've learned on my calisthenic journey. So now it's been about four months since I've started training for everything. So far, 10 things, one progression video is already up. And what I learned is warming up properly is so important, getting everything stretched out. I would do warm ups, but I wasn't doing them really well until I did a uh, proper warm up for my back lever. So where my back lever I'm trying to get into the right position, I wasn't warming up, I'd kind of just go into it. And that caused me to get a, a, a kind of small injury in my tricep. Also, I couldn't get into the position. I couldn't just, I couldn't get to where I needed to be. So I went online and I found what I should be warming up. So I started warming up. I started doing various different exercises, really stretching out those muscles. I was warming up everything because you know, everything is connected. And then finally, when I'd warmed everything up and I tried the back lever, I finally got into a perfect position. I finally got, I was extending one leg and I finally got it straight after struggling so long. So that showed me the importance of really warming up everything, really getting everything loose and mobile and just, just really important. The other thing I've just learned is do not move on quicker than you should. Now I knew this, taking time with your progressions, building up the strength and the technique that you need before you move on to the next one. So I've been training for the one arm pull up for quite a while now and I was using um, a rope or a strap to pull myself up and have the strength more on one side and I noticed near the end I wasn't getting my chin over to the bar or my chest the bar i was kind of getting a bit low but i was like no that's all right we'll get there so i turned to my next stage or which is negatives thinking yeah i built up this strength do the negatives and boy i'm nowhere near getting one it was non-existent it was like i hadn't even been training so i realized because i hadn't really got to where i should be meaning like on this actual progression i should be getting my chest to the bar easily with five reps definitely three sets but i wasn't so where i moved on i was no way near getting any not one rep for the next one so you really got to stick with making every rep or every second perfect before you move on to the next progression all right another thing i've learned is gymnastic rings olympic rings they're amazing so i went out instead of um doing say my one arm pull up uh, one arm push up on, on a platform, I decided to do it off one ring. And I thought that's gonna be hard because it's moving, but I found it much easier. I was doing three sets of two for ages, trying to get it down and really kind of struggling to get that third rep. I went out into the park, get the, got the ring up, making sure it's the right level because I just measured where my level was like on my sofa, put the ring down, got four, got three sets of four easy and it felt so much better. And I'm realiz realizing, you know, maybe it's because of the grip, it's a flat, plus it can move freely how it should move. And where I've been doing pull-ups on it as well, you know, um, everything just moves better instead of it being on a fixed position, fix, fixed platform. So yeah, gymnastic rings. I think I got my age ago for 30 quid. So wicked investment. I think they're brilliant. I'm gonna start doing a lot of my training on the Olympic rings. So the last thing, that I've learned so far is where I changed my training from twice a week to three times a week, and I was saying training everything three times a week is better if you're struggling. I found gradually that got a bit too much. It was like every day, you know, what I mean, I'm doing front lever one day, back lever, front lever, back lever, front lever, and then I'm doing, you know, what I mean, I'm doing planche, human flag, planche, human flag. It's like that. And where I'm training for ten things, I know people might say it's too much, but I'm used to training for loads of things. Um, my body was just getting battered and I was like, right, I need to bring it down to twice a week. And where I brought it down to twice a week, I've seen the progressions a bit better, I'm not as knackered. But where I'm training for like 10 things now, where I was 11, that's still fine, like I'm still progressing through it. Twice a week for me is good. So yeah, I've learned, stick to that for now, you know, it might change. So yeah, that's it. Um, check out the last video, I haven't seen it, about what I'd learned now, uh, what I'd learned then some more stuff I've learned. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful, give me a thumbs up, really helps the channel. And if you've got anything to ask at all, anything you wanna know, just write in the comments and I will get back to you. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Progression videos coming soon. Anyway, take care, it's a nice day, go outside and train. See you later.